What's going on, everybody? It is your boy. Welcome in the Fat Boy Fragrance Reviews. Of course, I am Mr. Fat Boy. And I am so glad to be here. And what we're going to cover today is a video I haven't done before, but I've seen people do them. I'm going to give you a list of fragrances that you can give your graduate, high school graduate, or your um, college graduate, or somebody like that, a younger kid, younger guy, um, uh, a fragrance. It may be the first or just one that you want to get them. These are youthful fragrances for people, for kids, for guys who are just graduating and they need a good, good fragrance to start their college career or their, or their work career. So these are some choices I had if you've been trying to think about getting one. Some of these are old school classics. Some of these are great new fragrances. We're going to find out. But before we do all that, I want to say thank you for tuning in. And if you are new and you first time you're checking me out, thank you. Man, I'm glad to have you. I'm honored to have anybody who wants to come in here and watch me. I appreciate it. Thank you. Now, make sure you come back. And make sure you hit that notifications too when you hit that like and subscribe. Because I give a video every day. I put the work in every day. Nobody outworks me. I'm going to outwork everyone. We're growing and growing as a channel. Can't wait to keep on growing. Thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. All right. Let's get up in this review. And you know how we do it, baby. No edits. No do-overs. Just one take. And one take and we get it right. Fat Boy Fragrance Reviews starts now. All right, baby, let's do this. Find out it's a list, no particular order. I'm just going to pick one up, tell you why I think it's a useful fragrance that you can give to your graduate or your, you know, or, or your, uh, your son or your brother, whoever it might be who's young, wants to feel good, smell good and look good and be all good. I got you covered. All right, first one up from the house of Coach. We have Coach Blue. Not much I can say that this fragrance is the same name. Blue. Coach Blue is a really, really nice blue aquatic. <sighs> Super youthful. Very, very easy to wear. Um, it's going to definitely make, you know, fit college. You know, if they play sports, it's a great one to wear after practice. Man, this was going to be great. It's one you want to wear on a date. It's got a little, little bit of seduction to it. So it has the vibe. Bottle's pretty cool. Look cool on the, on the shelf, too. So a really cool-looking bottle. Coach Blue, youthful, fun. Definitely worth checking out. I show some love to East St. Laurent, but I chose East St. Laurent's Lome Le Parfum. Ha! Yes. What is that blue electric? But in reality... Most young cats don't want to smell like that. So I, you got a different scent profile. This one kind of leans more into a more youthful, more um, kind of YSL Y vibe with a little bit of with loam mixed in is the kind of vibe I get with this one. Oh, yeah. This one is great. Super underrated, too. Very underrated. YSL Lome Le Parfum is a great fragrance for a young person definitely worth checking out all right now remember if you just want to sample these before you buy most of these are available at fatboyfragrance.com fatboyfragrance.com where the customer is always right check out the website great deals on my decants super fast shipping all right next one john paul gutierrez scandal One of these was going to make it either Ultramol, Scandal, or Phantom. One of those sweeter fragrances was going to make this list. Um, I could have put Azaro the Most Wanted. Yesterday's review, I hope you enjoyed it. Or two days review. No, yesterday, yesterday, yeah. Review uh, on that one. Um, this is definitely a sweeter fragrance. The note of caramel is really the star of this. 
I could have chose Prada Luna, Luna Rosa Ocean, but I went with this one because I do give a lot of love to Ocean, so I thought I'd spread around a little bit with Scandal. Scandal's a really nice fragrance. Definitely youthful, playful, um, uh, easy one to pick up and wear. Oh, yeah. It's one of the ones that I think really play to the younger kid, younger crowd, no doubt. Definitely a younger man's fragrance for sure. Um, keep in mind that it's not that young people don't want to wear fougeres or barbershop style fragrances. It's just that they're not, what they, that smell is reminiscent for most of them of their fathers or their uncles. They don't want to smell like their fathers and uncles. They love their fathers and uncles, but they don't want to smell like them. Just keep that in mind. All right, so John Paul Goodyear's Scandal is the one that's going to be great, sweet. The caramel notes really nice. I have a review on this. You can go check it out if you want to. Awesome. All right, next up. I've done a review on this one too recently, and this one right here really surprised me how good it was. Lacoste Blanche. 212 or 1212. This one. <laughs> Another playful, youthful, fresh, energetic fragrance. It just makes you feel good when you spray it. Oh my God. Yeah, oh, this is a great fragrance. This one right here is if I had to pick a lot of these that are on this list, this would be near the top. If they were in order, this one would definitely be in the air top. Uh, my son, I'll probably buy him this when he gets older and give him his own bottle. I like kids, I like younger people wearing this one. I think it fits the mode. It definitely makes you feel youthful. I feel youthful when I wear it. But uh, yeah, and people ask, well, how, why do you wear these fragrances, Fat Boy? You're in your 40s. Well, man, I think you're young at heart. And when it comes to fragrances, I'm a younger person kind of inside. My friend, I might be 40, but I'm more like a 25, 30 year old when it comes to my fragrance taste. So I can really appreciate um, the list because I can relate to it really well. So, uh, my um, uh, Lacoste is Blanche, fantastic, great useful fragrance. And all these are pretty affordable, less than 60 bucks. You can get smaller bottles and really stay in a budget too. If you're trying not to spend a lot on that graduate or on that, you know, uh, graduate high school, college kid. Or if he's just getting ready for prom and you want to have a new fragrance, that'll work too. All right. This one's probably the one that's probably a little out there. But it's definitely youthful, definitely unique, and definitely going to look cool on the dorm on the shelf, baby. And that is one million lucky. One Million Lucky is just a really nice fragrance. Yeah, that one's so good. That one's so good. There's a sweetness to it. There's a nuttiness to it. It definitely screams youth. It definitely says, hey, I'm young and I'm ready to have fun. Oh, nice fragrance. Year-round fragrance, too. Something you can wear in the colder weather, warmer weather. Very versatile. This is the one that if you just needed one and this was it and you want to stand out, you will stand out with this. Among the crowd of all these guys wearing blue fragrances, you're going to stand out. And sometimes that's pretty cool when you're young. All right, next one. From the house of Giorgio Armani, I'm sorry. Yeah, Giorgio Armani Aqua de Gio Profundo Lights. Why not choose, choose this one? To me, this is the most youthful one of the Profundo or Aqua Gio line. Maybe absolute becoming second. This is super, super a young wear. This is definitely for a younger person. It's profundo, but they definitely toned down that 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 instance vibe and really stepped up on the citrusy notes and made it fresher. This one and it lasts a really good time. Profundo lights definitely screams, "Hey, I'm ready to be young again, baby." All right, next up. This one's a personal favorite of mine. It's been out a while. And I'm sorry, this fragrance should be in every young man's collection. No doubt this should be in there. We lost our camera, so hold on one second. I'm gonna turn this one up a little bit more. There we go. So yeah, um, this one should definitely be in everybody's collection. And that is uh, um, Michael Kors Extreme Blue. No edits, baby. I'm gonna check, make sure the lights aren't too bright. 
No, that's good. So yeah, Michael Kors Extreme Blue, extremely well done. Super nice fragrance. Love this one. This is one of the ones that's been in my collection for a long time. My wife bought this for me. This fragrance means a lot to me because it kind of started my journey, really got me going hard into my journey. Oh, Michael Kors Extreme Blue. Wow, wow, wow. You want a perfect fragrance. Probably my favorite in this whole list. This is top 10 keepers for me. I will always have this fragrance in my collection. Michael Kors Extreme Blue is perfect. There's nothing wrong with this fragrance. It is not synthetic. It's young. It's fresh. And an older gentleman can pull this one off too. This is an every, every man's fragrance. Michael Kors Extreme Blue. Worth it, baby. Worth every penny. All right. Let's take it back to the old school, baby. Nautica Voyage. If you have, if you're young and you're watching this video, Nautica Voyage was that fragrance that everybody had, that every YouTuber talked about, that everybody said you had to have. Best fragrance for under 20 bucks. Best fragrance, long lasting fragrance for under 20 bucks. Summer go to, spring go to. Ah, the list can go on. The videos that have been, that have included this fragrance are in probably, they're in the, Nah, it's gotta be, I wouldn't even say it's probably half a million videos that have this fragrance in it. I mean, I wouldn't even go that far. So this fragrance has been well talked about, but it doesn't mean it's not good. It doesn't mean it's played out. Actually, what it really means is that this fragrance is not worn by a lot of people anymore. So you can stand out really well. And, and this is great for a younger person. Oh yeah, it just snaps, man. It snaps with that gorgeous, it almost gives like a cucumber watermelon vibe. I love it. Oh, this fragrance is so good. There's Donka Voyage. All right, next up, we got a couple left. I'm gonna kind of breeze through them now. We have YSL Y Live. Chose this one because I felt like it was, of all of them, it felt like it more younger person's one. That smells good. I'm not gonna go deep into it, but this is a <laughs> this was the super underrated too. Nobody talks about YSL Y Live too much. They know about the other ones. There's a lot of these, there's a lot of YSL Ys. I have them all. But this one, man, can sneak up on you on how good it is. Wow. This room smells amazing right now. Alright, so that's another one for you young guys. YSL Y. Alright. This one is had gotten a second chance with me. I was not a fan of this fragrance. I didn't see the hype on it, but I started to wear it a couple of times in the, in the last couple of weeks. And I'm like, you know what? This could make a list. And this was the perfect list for it. And that one is Mont Blanc Explorer Blue, Ultra Blue. This was a very blue aquatic fragrance. Nothing really groundbreaking here. Nothing is gonna stand out and say, hey, wow, this is different. It's just a really nice fragrance when you just get down to the bare bones of it and it works. Yeah, and it works and it does a good job. I gave this fragrance a hard time. I should have worn it more before I did a review on it. Mont Blanc's Explorer Ultra Blue is definitely making a comeback this year for me. Probably gonna come back kid right here, baby. All right, another great fragrance right there for you younger cats. All right, next up, we have two left, we'll pick them both up. Another one for the old school. Let's say if you like a tropical vibe, you still can't go wrong with this. If you don't want to drop the money on Virgin Island Water, just get St. Bart's from Tommy Bahama. This one's still great. It's amazing. The lime and the coconut. Girls are gonna love the way you smell, without a doubt. Oh, this one's still. Oh, this one still smells great. Yeah, this is the one you get if you want, if it's summer and it's before you go back to school or off to work, wherever you're doing, this one will make you feel fantastic. On the way to spring break, bam, take that one with you. You know, graduation trip, going to the beach, bam, this is the one you want to take. Make sure you got that one. All right, and the last one is a newer one. Not that old from the house of Al Harim. And that's Al Harim's Amber Oud Blue. Kind of smells like blue to Chanel. 
Elysium, kind of all mixed together. Not bad. A solid fragrance. Another one that's very youthful, but also looks great on the shelf. With that gold, gold plaque on there. Love the way it looks on the shelf. It's going to look cool. People are going to walk up to your, you know, your dorm and be like, hey man, that's a cool looking bottle. What is that? It's going to be a great conversation piece. You're going to smell good. You're going to feel good. It's going to be all good. So that's it. Now, my thing is, for all you young cats going off to college, graduating from high school, or just graduating from college and getting ready to go in the real world, congratulations, man. An education is super important. You can't make it through life without being able to think critically. And you get that from learning and education. Enjoy your time wherever you go. But remember this one thing. You got to smell good, baby. And if you smell good, you're going to look good, and you're going to feel good. And then it's going to be all good. Fat Boy Fragrance Reviews is out.